Hi, my name is Thwiti, and today I will be teaching you the English phonics E D P H W H O U G H and I R. First, we will go over the phonic E D. This phonic makes the ed sound. Some examples of words that have the ed sound are jumped, walked, melted, planted, and acted. I am going to read a few sentences. Try to identify which words have the ed sound in them. Yesterday, I wanted to do something fun. So I baked a cake. After I read the recipe, I started to gather all the ingredients I needed to bake the cake. Once I was done making the batter, my mom helped me put the cake in the oven. When the cake was done baking in the oven, me and my mom ate the delicious cake. Did you find the words that had the ed sound in them. They were wanted, baked, started, needed, and helped. Next, we will talk about the phonic PH. Together, P and H makes the F sound. This sounds a lot like the sound the letter F makes. Some words that have the F sound are the words phone, alphabet, dolphin, graph, and phonic. Now I will read a few sentences. Try finding all the words that have the F sound. One day, the author of a famous philosophy book was writing an autobiography. On the front cover of the book, there was a photo of a phoenix. Inside the book, the author wrote many paragraphs about herself and her life. The words in those sentences that had the sound were philosophy, autobiography, photo, phoenix, and paragraphs. Now we will talk about the phonic WH. This phonic makes the W sound. Some examples of this phonic are Whale, what, who, wheel, and whistle. Like before, I will read a couple of sentences. Try to find all the words that have a w sound. When I went outside the other day, I was surprised to see something hiding in the wheat fields. I saw a white cat with long whiskers. The cat ca kept whimpering, so I took it inside my house to take care of it. Which five words in those sentences had the w sound? The words when, wheat, white, whiskers, and whimpering. The next English phonic we will be talking about is the O-U-G-H phonic. There are six different ways to pronounce the phonic O-U-G-H, so listen carefully as I pronounce them. The first way to pronounce the phonic O-U-G-H is AW, example, fought. The second way to pronounce the phonic O-U-G-H is 
O. Example, although. The third way to pronounce the phonic O U G H is O. Example, through. The fourth way to pronounce the phonic O U G H is of. Example, rough. The fifth way to pronounce the phonic O U G H is ow. Example, drought. The sixth way to pronounce the phonic O U G H is off. Example, cough. As I read a few sentences, try to see if you can find all of the words that have the O U G H phonic in them. One day, Olaf thought about summer. Even though he was a snowman, he really wanted to know what it was like in summer. Olaf loved winter, but he had enough of the cold weather. It was tough for Olaf to make friends in winter since most of the other animals were asleep in hibernation. But in summer, everyone was awake and Olaf could make many friends. In these sentences, the four words that have the O-U-G-H phonic were thought, though, enough, and tough. Finally, the last English phonic we will go over is I-R. This phonic makes the R sound. Some examples of words that contain this phonic are first, dirt, third, skirt, and bird. Now I will read a few sentences that some of the words will have the air sound. Try to find all the words that have this phonic. The Bengal tiger is an admirable and miraculous animal. They have stripes on their coat to help them blend into their environment. Over time, however, Bengal tigers have become an endangered species due to the direct human activity of destroying their habitat by cutting down forests for timber and agriculture and building more roads. Which words had the phonic IR in it? They were admirable, miraculous, their environment, and direct. Today we went over the English phonics E D P H W H O U G H and I R. I hope you were able to learn all of these new phonics. Thank you for listening.